Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the genitourinary system, also known as the renal system. So firstly, the renal system comprises of two kidneys, which we've got here, two ureters, which we've got here, one bladder, and one urethra. Now, the kidneys don't just filter our blood to produce urine, they play a vast array of roles within the body. But before we get to those roles, it's important to talk about firstly where the kidneys are located. So if you were to slice into my stomach, God forbid, and have a look inside, you would have to pull out all of my abdominal organs, my intestines, my stomach, my liver, You'd have to pull it all out, and then by the time it's all out, you'd find the back of my abdominal wall, which we call the parietal peritoneum. You would then have to go through that parietal peritoneum to find my kidneys. What that's telling you is my kidneys are located way at the back of my body, behind that peritoneal cavity, and therefore the kidneys are termed as being retroperitoneal. Retroperitoneal. Now, when we look at the size of the kidneys, you can go through, if we're working with centimeters, for example, 12, six, and three. They're 12 centimeters by six centimeters by three centimeters. So 12 centimeters tall or long, six centimeters wide, and three centimeters thick. They weigh around about 150 grams. And interesting what you're gonna find is that the kidney on the right, so again, this is the right kidney, compared to the kidney on the left, actually sits lower. And the reason why is because our liver, that big organ, is sitting above it on the right. It's pushing it down. So the right kidney is actually lower. Now, where do they sit? All right, so the kidneys actually sit at around about, when we look at the top of the kidney, around about T11, T12. So you're gonna find that the top, or the kidney on the left, compared to the kidney on the right, will be sitting at around about T12. So the thoracic, when we look at the thoracic vertebrae, 12, this is around about the 11th thoracic vertebrae. And when we look at the bottom of it, it's around about L2, L3. So from around about T11 to L3 are where the kidneys sit. Now you know that the 11th and 12th thoracic vertebrae actually have ribs coming around them. They're called our floating ribs, so two ribs. Now what that means is there's gonna be two ribs that wrap themselves around the kidneys. It doesn't offer much protection, but it can be dangerous. And often in car accidents, these kidneys can break or shear, so basically cut the kidneys and damage them significantly. So that's an important clinical point. And again, the kidneys towards the back retroperitoneal. What are the functions of the kidneys? What roles do they play in the body? So I like to think about this. I use this particular mnemonic to help remind me on the functions of the kidneys, all right? I say very clever pigeons migrate east and then I add another E for good measure. Very clever pigeons migrate east. Now let's get rid of the rest of the word and keep that first letter and let's have a look at some of the functions of the kidneys. So first V up here is going to be volume. The kidneys are really really important in maintaining blood volume, fluid volume, fluid balance within the body. And we know that if we have too much fluid, we can pee it out, not enough, we can tell the kidneys hold on to that fluid, really important. And we also know that there's a direct correlation between volume and blood pressure. And therefore the kidneys are really, really important in maintaining our blood pressure. What's the C? The C is concentration. So it maintains the concentration of things within our blood. Most importantly, the concentration of ions. Remember, ions are charged atoms or elements. And examples of ions include things like sodium, 
potassium, chloride, magnesium, hydrogen, bicarbonate, calcium, there's so many important ions. And again, the kidneys can regulate the concentration of these ions in our blood. Too many, pee out, not enough, hold on to it. What's the P stand for in this case? The P stands for pH. So the kidneys help regulate long-term acid-base balance. Long-term acid-base balance. How does it do this? Well, it does this through the regulation of concentration of hydrogen and bicarbonate. Because we know all acid is, is the concentration of hydrogen ions. And to make something less acidic, we need to give a base which binds or mops up those hydrogen ions. So the kidneys can maintain pH by controlling how many hydrogen ions or how many bicarbonate ions we actually have in the system. What's the M? The M is metabolic. Important metabolic processes are controlled by the liver, uh, the kidneys, sorry. So these metabolic processes include gluconeogenesis. Gluco means glucose, neo means new, genesis means the beginning of. Read it backwards, the beginning of new glucose. If our body has run out of sugar for energy, we can use fats via the kidneys and some proteins to produce glucose as energy. Brilliant. It also plays a role in glycogenesis. So this is the storing of glucose as glycogen and glycogenolysis. Glycogenolysis. This is now breaking apart the stored glycogen to turn into sugar to use for energy. And last but not least here for metabolic is vitamin D synthesis. Importantly, the kidneys are the last step in activating a vitamin D precursor. And what does vitamin D do? It helps control our blood calcium levels. Now the last two E's, let's just move them down, down a little bit so we have some space. The last two E's are gonna be excretory and endocrine. The excretory functions. The kidneys play a really important role in getting rid of waste, drugs, and toxins. So wastes include metabolic wastes. So things that we produce as a byproduct, but we need to get rid of because if they stay in our blood, they can be dangerous for us. So these wastes can include urea. So when we break proteins down and we split apart those amino acids, we produce ammonia, and we know ammonia is not great to stay within our body. So we turn it into urea, and we need to get rid of this urea. And also creatinine, which is a byproduct of muscle metabolism. Creatinine, not creatine, but creatinine. What about drugs? The types of drugs that the kidneys get rid of are water soluble. They need to be water soluble because this is urine we're talking about. If they're fat soluble, the body continues to reabsorb them through the digestive system until it's broken down or it's passed through our um, digestive tract. And also toxins, whatever those particular toxins may be, kidneys play an important role in getting rid of them. What about the endocrine function of the kidneys? So endocrine means hormones. So what are some important hormones that the kidneys produce? Well, that includes renin. Renin is important when it comes to the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. What is this system? Basically, this is a system that maintains fluid volume, and blood pressure. And how does it do it ultimately? Helps hold on to water in the body and helps reabsorb sodium and chloride because wherever salt goes, water follows. Remember, when you eat some chips, for example, some salty chips, you get thirsty. So wherever salt goes, water follows. So what the kidneys can do specifically after renin's released is it helps tell the kidneys to hold on to salt in the blood and water will be pulled back in, maintaining blood volume, maintaining blood pressure. and Another endocrine function is that of EPO, which is erythropoietin. Erythro, erythro means red, so an erythrocyte is a red blood cell. Erythropoietin, poesis to create, erythropoietin is the production of red blood cells. So the kidneys 
play a really important role in controlling how many red blood cells you are producing in the body. Why? Because the kidneys are very metabolically hungry. They only weigh 150 grams, but they take around about 20% of our cardiac output. That means of the five liters of blood pumped out of our heart every single minute, 20% of that goes to the kidneys. That's how important they are. So they need oxygen, they need nutrients, and they need to be able to filter all this blood and when they filter the blood, they do all of these particular roles. So this is a quick run through of the kidneys.